Welcome to perimeter of rectangle fifth grade maths. Perimeter means the distance around or the total length of the boundary. And I have three ways here you can find the perimeter of a rectangle and you will get the same answer. First, we look at this rectangle. We have 12 feet, 5 feet, 12 feet and 5 feet. And we have the length and the width, the length and the width. And as you notice, the opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. So these two sides are equal. These two sides are equal. And unless you are told otherwise, we usually take the longest side to be the length. So in this rectangle, we will take the, the 12 feet as the length and the 5 feet as the width. So let's go ahead and find the perimeter of this first rectangle. And we're going to try to use the three formulas and see how we get the same answer. So first, we can say P equals length. I remember, unless we're told otherwise, we're going to take the longest side to be the length. So it will be 12 plus 5 plus 12 plus 5 and all of this is feet twelve plus five plus five plus twelve is equal to twelve plus twelve twenty four 5 plus 5, 10. So that is P is equal to 34 feet. That's using the first formula. Now let's write P is equal to 2 length plus 2 width. Here we have 2 length plus 2 width. So... P equals 2L plus 2W. P is equal to 2L, which would be 24. That is 2 times 12. And then plus 2W, 2 times 5. 10 and we arrive at the same answer 34 feet and we have another formula we could we could try so p is equal to 2 times L plus W. That is P is equal to 2 times 12 plus 5. And P is equal to 2 times 17. P is equal to 34 and that is feet now let's look at the second example 23 centimeters by 8 centimeters and remember we're taking the longest side to be the length so we'll take 23 centimeter as a length but if you notice on this rectangle we only have two measurements, but if you re recall, we said that in a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. So if this side is 23 centimeter, it therefore means that this side is 23 centimeter. So we could just mark them, mark them the same, 23 centimeter. And then we could just probably, we could write that on or we could just leave it. 
but we're just gonna mark it the same and then the opposite side of 8 which is this side is also equal to 8 so we we'll give that a one mark and also give this a one mark so that signifies that this side is opposite to this side and they are equal the same mark that means they are equal so let's go ahead and find a rectangle using the first formula P equals length plus width plus L plus W and that is equal to 23 plus 8 plus 23 plus 8 and 23 plus 8 plus 23 plus 8 that is equal to 23 plus 23 and 8 is 31 plus 31 that is 62 so this is equal to 62 centimeter next let's try p is equal to two times is equal to two l plus two w and that is two times 23 which is 46 plus 2 times 8, 16, and that is equal to 46 and 16, 62 centimeter. And finally, let's try P is equal to two times L plus W two times 23 plus 8 and that is two times 31 and that is equal to 62 centimeter so therefore it doesn't matter which one of the formulas you use you're going to end up with the same same answer and there you have it thanks for watching please remember to like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video